Three non-executive directors of the Somali Central Bank have tendered their resignations following the reappointment of Governor Abdi Aham Mohamed Abdullahi for a second four-year term. Sakawadin Mustaf Mohamed, Osman Salad Gaber, and Abdisamad No Hassan, who held crucial positions overseeing the central bank's operations, cited political reasons for their unexpected departures. Following the government's announcement of the governor's reappointment, a wave of resignations swept through the board, reflecting a clear lack of confidence or disagreement with the decision. These departing board members, whose roles in overseeing the central bank's operations were vital, cited diverse reasons for their unexpected exits. Abdullahi, a finance and banking veteran, has played a significant role in implementing vital economic reforms since his initial appointment in July 2019. He boasts an illustrious career that began in 1986 within the Somali government. He has been credited with supporting the nation's financial reforms while serving as the Prime Minister's senior economic policy advisor. The CBS governor, holding dual Somali-Norwegian citizenship, holds a bachelor's degree in business administration from the Norwegian University of Technology and Science and a master's in finance and international banking from John Morse University in Liverpool. Abdullahi's impressive resume showcases diverse experiences in both the public and private sectors in Norway, the United Kingdom, and Yemen. Amidst this unexpected shake-up, the spotlight is firmly fixed on the central bank as the story continues to unravel. The resignations of the three non-executive directors serve as a reminder of the critical significance of effective governance and collaborative decision-making within the central bank. Their departure underscores the importance of maintaining stability and adept navigating the ever-evolving economic landscape in Somalia.